Howdy folks, welcome back to more PGA Tour 2K23. Now before we get into the community made course that we're going to be playing today, there's a couple of questions I had yesterday on the last video that I did, and I thought it better just to sort of show you than try to explain it uh, by typing it in. So the first one was by Glenn, and what he says says, for a guest player in game, I'll to switch to a female player my wife wants to play against me, so thanks for the help. So what you want to do is you go to my player, uh, you just flick at the guest down the bottom there with LT, and as you see, there's already a female there, but what you want to do is you go to golfer and then you go to info. Now you've got your nationality, your handedness, and your, your female, your gender there. And then you just flick it over to appearance. And then you can do all the other bits and bobs there. And then when you're in game, uh, we shall go to here. So we've got a local match. So this is the course we're going to be playing today anyway. I already looked for it in the search system. Look how they go. So what you do do is you click add player, add guest, and then you click the guest. There you go. And that's the female. So I hope you got all that. As I said, you probably already figured out already, but I thought I'd go over it anyway. So we're just going to jump back out. And the next question, uh, somebody asked me if I could take a picture of my settings. So again, it's just going to be easier to show you them. So what you do is just hit start. Uh, I'll go into the difficulty settings. And there you go. What I'll do is I'll just flick through them. Uh, you can pause if I'm going too fast. And here is all the settings that I play with. Okay, so that's the second question. That was by Graham. So that's the questions out of the way. I'll tell you what, what I said yesterday is we're actually going to flick it up to master. <laughs> this should be fun. So. Let's put it on master and we shall go and try this course out, shall we? So local match. Oh, let's get rid of, how do I get rid of this? Ah, must be there. There you go. Remove player. There we go. Playing with my own character today. I'll tell you what, let's change. We'll go with, we did Tony Finau yesterday. We'll go Ricky Fowler today. Try that. Let's see how he 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 works out. <laughs> he's not been too he's not been too uh, good over the last couple of years, has he? But he's sort of coming back over the last couple of months. Right, so let's get in it. So this is a lava a bay a gold, and uh, this is a by a Robert Thurgood. Oh, I like that little water feature he's got over there on the right hand side, uh, left hand side. Sorry. So let's put the old sky cam on. We'll have a just a little quick look around. For some reason, picture looks looked stretched there for some reason. But no, that's okay. Yeah, that's a lovely little water feature, that. Very, very nice. La Cava Bay. like the colours of the flowers. So let's just flick out here. Head down the first. Now, for all you new subscribers and you just want to get into designing, I see this here, this rock texture. That is actually the dead tree texture. You've actually got a dead tree in the creator and that's what a lot of the people use now for uh, rock textures i mean you can, if you go really up close to it you can see you can see the break there where the tree is but like from a distance i mean look at that absolutely cracking rock texture so let's flick down let's uh, fly down the first hole here what's this here is this the clubhouse well, looks like we've got some nice little water features going on got like a little dam there a little weir Nice bit of rocks around it. There's your clubhouse. A couple of pools on the outside. Very prestigious clubhouse. <laughs> I mean, look at that. You've got, um, got a big roaring fire there and you've got a massive TV up there as well. <laughs> That's pretty cool. I like that. So let's head up here again. I'll tell you what, let's go and have a quick look at the plot. You've got a little island over there. Oh, there's going to be a lot of water on this course. Oh my goodness. And I'm playing on Master Sentence. So that's not going to be good, is it? Let's take a little run down here. Wow, this size is that retaining wall. Bloody hell, I didn't realize it goes all the way up there as well, look. It's all the way up there to where that, um, that grandstand is. And all the way down, all the way around here. That is, that's a massive retaining wall. That must have took a long time to do. As I, I've said before, guys, you guys um, amaze me how you do all this stuff. I just, I don't have the patience for this kind of thing. I'd get 
a quarter of the way through and go, ah, sod that. <laughs> That's why I don't use a designer. I just don't have the, 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 the patience for it. That's why I'm, I'm glad there's so many really good designers that we have in the game. That's I do like these um, sort of square tea boxes, raised tea boxes. You've got the retaining wall around there as well. And again, another lovely little waterfall going on over there. They've changed the looks of the water as well. The waterfalls. I don't know if I, I don't know if I preferred the old ones because I think the old ones looked more realistic. Or is that like just some kind of spray that they put on top of the water? I'm not sure. As I said, I don't use a designer. And again, there's um, that rock texture there again, used by, uh, done by the, the tree. It's got some nice little bits of colour just sort of dotted around there as well. Down onto the screen. Oh, look, it's got a, like a, a tree swing over there. That's pretty cool. So let's head back up. Let's see where else we can go and have a, a little little look here. Just have a quick look at the, the island here, see what we've got over here. Nice little sort of beachfront property there, but that would cost a fortune. That's a nice one up on the hill there. Got a lighthouse. Let's go up and have a, a proper look at the... Oof, that's a lot of water. Oh, this could be, this could be dodgy. Get ready for it, folks. <laughs> Master settings on st um, stick swing as well. And my um, tempo's usually absolutely garbage. But I do think it's easier than 2K21 because of the archetypes and the, the, the fittings that you put on your clubs, even though I'm using the powerhouse archetype. But we shall see. Okay, again, we've got another nice little sort of river going down here and he's got another retaining wall he's got retaining walls all over the place oh that's a nice little bit of plant in there looks really nice okay let's jump onto the tee well we've got 10 mile an hour wind coming in from the right hand side tell you what I'm, I probably should have played with my own guy just because I'm so used to it and one of the pros let's see how we do it oh oh his swing looks way different that's the kind of swing my brother used to have it's really sore round and flat there at the top instead of more upright well that's not too bad and I said this in one of the, the questions yesterday uh, somebody said the sounds of the clubs are a lot better in this game and you can actually tell the difference in the club sounds uh, the different manufacturers as well because when I was playing yesterday and I hit a shot and I was like oh that sounded weird but it was because I was playing with one of the pros and again it sounds a lot different from the club that I use on my my um, my avatar so what we've got here 105 six feet up we should be okay just going in there like that got quite a lot of um, slope right to left that's turning nice oh my goodness beautiful beautiful shot little tappy tap Now we start off with a birdie. Nice one. Okay, second hole, par four, 325. Ooh, 325. Oh, ho, ho. now I could go for this, but I'm going to be over the back of the green if I hit it, definitely. So is there any point in going for that instead of just knocking it over to here? Of course there is. <laughs> Let's just smash one down there, see how we do. Oh, a little bit of fast, so it's definitely going to make it. Oh, in the bunker. Oh no, it's out of the bunker, so that's not too bad actually. It's not too bad at all where it landed. Should I put that maybe forward a little bit more? That's not too bad though. We shall pick up another birdie from that. I keep forgetting to hit advance. <laughs> okay, third hole, par five, nice one. 564 yards. 
Okay, got a dog leg round to the left here. Shouldn't need to put any draw on this. The wind should just sort of take it around there for us, I think. Yeah, that's a kind of weird swing he's got, isn't it? It's like I said, it's, well, it was a lot like uh, my brother's swing when I used to play golf and played against him. Okay, not bad. 3.28 off the tee there. Right, now this could be pretty dodgy going for this. I'm going to have to go with a three wood, but what I'll do is I'll put quite a bit of fade on it and kind of bring it in. Oof. Bring it in from the left-hand side here. Got quite a big slope there as well. Oh, this is going to be dodgy. Be about there. Just want to stay away from that water. Oh, that's not bad, actually. That is not bad. Go, go, go. Oh, ho, ho, ho. nice. On for the eagle putt. Look at that. 259 with the three wood. Yeah, that's not bad. Come on, Bob. Let's see if we can get the eagle here. Come on. Oh, no, that's turning too quick. Is it? Oh, ho, ho. a little bit too much pace, I think. I actually pulled that back as well. Too much pace. But we'll take a, another birdie. What's that? Three under after three holes on Master Sentence. So that's not too bad. Okay, you've got an uphill par four here. This is the one with the um, the tree swing at the end, I think, if I remember right. Okay. Got the wind going with this as well. Let's just try and bring it around that little bit so it doesn't bounce off that hill there. Lovely. I'm quite glad I put the tracers on now, just for the, uh, the tee shot. I never used to like it. I thought it was very arcadey, especially if you have it on all your shots. Like your chip shots, your pips, your your um, pitch shots, and things like that. Like I said in my other video when I first put it on, it's more like you're watching the the top trace or whatever you call it at the proper golf tournament. So I don't mind it being on the um, the tee shot. So let's play this just a little bit short down here. And just let it run down there. Oh no, shouldn't have put too much loft on it, that. That could have been a lot closer. Uh oh, that's too pacey. Yep, I fell that. Oh, look how far I've put it past. Crap. Way too much power on that one. A nice straight putt here though. I think. Get in, go on. Yep, that'll do it. So we'll take a par there, that sort of breaks up our run of birdies. Right, what have we got here? Five wood driver. Oh, oh, he's testing us, isn't he? He's testing us. Giving us a lot of risk reward shots. Again, I'm going to bring this in from the right hand side. Come on. Oh shit. That's gone. That is gone. Splish splash. Taking a bath. Damn it. I'm going to go for it again. Yes, I am going to go for it again. Again, let's bring it in from the right hand side here. Oh, it's a bit better. Come on. Go on. Get up. You son of a. <laughs> oh, we made it on the green. Nice. Now, why didn't that happen the first time? Oh, well, you've got another, like another little grill up there. Look at that on the right hand side of the building now. Now we could possibly get away with this here. Pick up a par. Come on. Oh, is that turning too far? I think it did. Yep. So we're going to pick up a bogey there. Hopefully it's just one. Or should I say, hopefully it's just a bogey. Okay, that'll do it. Okay, so we drop a shot there. 
Okay, another par five, but the wind going a little bit against us here. So we're going to aim down this left hand side. Again, you see where I'm hitting that fast, just on the, the left hand side of the, the perfect marker. I was doing that with my, um, when I was playing on pro settings as well, constantly hitting just off center. Okay, what have we got here? 259, three feet up. Five wood, three wood, definitely. A little bit of a slope there. Shit. Oh, I mean, crap. <laughs> That's not too bad. I thought that was going to be headed for the water. Are those new flowers? Because I haven't seen flowers that red before. I wonder if they're new. Okay, little splash shot out of the bunker. I'll run right down to the pin. And we should be able to pick up a, a par from there. Or is it? Oh no, it's birdie. That's right, it's par five. Nice. Come on. Again, another lovely water feature there on the, the right hand side. That's not turning. Sugar. Crap. Damn it. That should have been a birdie. I'm surprised that didn't turn. That's a nice looking hole as well. You got the waterfall in the background. Love the little island green. Okay, we've gone in here with a four iron. Might nip it down to a five iron actually. A little bit of loft on it, not too much. That's not bad. It's going to be right of the pin, though. That'll do it. Yeah, as you can see, when you're close up, if you look at the waterfall there, I think 2K21, it looked better with that sort of misty sort of look to it. Right, come on. Oh, it's going to turn too much. So again, we're going to be picking up. I really need to, oh, I don't want to. I should start using these golf balls. I've only ever used them once. I've got tons of them in my locker. <laughs> the consumable golf balls. I just play the default ball all the time. But as you can see, the amount of roll you get on the default ball is ridiculous. Oh, the greens are 175. That's probably why. That's pretty pacey. Again, that's not turning. I wonder if it's different on Master Set. I don't know why, it just didn't seem to turn as much as what it did, what it usually does. <laughs> Damn it, that's a, is that a bogey. Brought us down to minus one. That said, I think it'll probably take me a, a few rounds to try and get used to the, the Master Sense. Okay, we've got par four here, eighth hole, 355. Just goes around the corner here. A little bit of a dog leg, so we're going to play a little bit of um, draw on it. Nice. That'll do lovely. That'll leave us a nice little pitch up because it was only about 355, I think. Yep. A little bit of a slow. Oh, it's going to be short. Damn it. Ah, bounce back, then bounce forward, though. <laughs> go, go, go. Oh, so close. So we'll take another par there. Three birdies, two bogeys. I could have got, I should have got away with them bogeys now. Right, 22 feet down, 159. So that's playing around about 152. 163. We'll put a little bit of loft on it. I'll tell you what, Ricky Fowler gets some bloody height on his um on his shots. 
I noticed that with his driver as well. I was getting some height on the driver. I should have looked at that green a little bit closer and aimed over to the right, I think, that. Aimed over at the flat spot. All right, uphill. About there. Oh, it's short. Well, not quite short, but a little bit to the right. Take another par there. Well, some horses. Okay, 10th hole, par four. We've got the wind going with this. Oh, we've got another one here. Oh, dude. Yep. <laughs> I'm going to have to pull that back a little bit, I think. Maybe about there. That's better. I didn't want to hit a fast. Ooh, that's, ooh, that's actually went a lot further than I thought. Come on, come off of that. Come on, come on. That's not bad. We'll pick up a part uh, a birdie. You see what I mean? Look how, oh, I might not even pick up a bloody birdie little far I was rolling. Oh, damn it. Should have put a lot of angle attack on that to try and get it stopped quicker on the green. So I'm actually f probably further away here than what I was. Mind you, I was hitting way downhill. Right, come on, let's see if we can get this. One turn. Oh, 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 what a pop. <laughs> nice. What a little deer there. I've just seen it on the left hand side there. Little Bambi. Is that birdie? I think it might have been. That was a nice putt though. Yeah, look, little Bambi there. They need to sort out these um, replays. I don't like them. I hate them. They're spending too much time on the face of the player. Okay, back to minus two. Okay, what have we got here? Part three, 201, 31 feet down. So let's go down. It's playing about 290. So we'll go down at the, the seven iron. That should be okay, I reckon. Again, you see, look, just always to the left of the marker. I keep hitting it. Oh, that worked out really well. Nice. Better not screw this up. Right, finally, another birdie. Back to minus... Oh, birdie, birdie. Back to minus three. Ricky! Okay, 12th hole, par four. Got a little bit of wind against us here. Oof, 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 oof. Don't really want to go over the top of that, so... Let's go a little bit of fade. Name round about here somewhere. That should be okay. Or is it going to go in the rough? It's in the rough. I'd rather there than <laughs> in the water, I suppose. Who's that Cobra driver he's using there, I think? Oh, that's not going to run, is it? Yep, it's going to run. Keep going, keep going, keep going. See, the, the roll on the ball helps you sometimes, but impedes you other times. <laughs> oh, it's a dodgy little one. Oh, I've hit that too hard, I think. Oof, no, it dropped. Nice. Oof. Nice little string of birdies here. Okay, 13th hole, part four. Let's bring this in a little bit from the right-hand side. Perfect. Lovely. Okay, 
Okay, 329 off the tee. Still going to leave us quite a bit of a slope there, though. Right. Let's go with that. Oh, shh. Here we go. You know where that's going? <laughs> I stopped myself from saying, you know what? Oh, bloody hell. That's crap. Nope, oh, gonna go with a little pitch shot. Can't believe the gear chip from that distance. That's not bad. You've got this little sort of raised area here, so if I do go past the pin, I'm kinda hoping that's gonna stop it. What have we got? 63 71%. So let's go right past the pin here. Put a little bit of loft on it. Oh, sugar. Oh, that's terrible. Uh-oh. You know what's going to happen here? We're going to end up with a double or triple bogey. Oh, that was nice. That worked out okay. So we're going to walk away with a double. Could have been worse. But at first pitch, that was terrible. That massive fast we hit there. Okay, we'll be here 190, 31 down, so it's playing around about 180. 173, let's go with that. A little bit of loft. Lovely. 102% though. Might be a bit far with that wind. Yep. That'll do though. Is it coming back? It is. Come on, keep coming. Keep coming. <laughs> oh, nice little straight putt though. Nice. Back to minus three. A little bit of an up and down round, but hey, it's a master sentence. I was expecting this. I was actually expecting it to hit a lot worse, to be honest. Mind you, I've still got four hopes to go. It's not been too bad, because usually I, when I use a stick swing, I usually always have a blowout on a hole. <laughs> Uh-oh, come on, hold up, hold up, hold up. That's ah, in the thick crap. A 308-yard drive. It's par 5, so that's not too bad. 72, 81%. We've got the wind coming in from the right direction as well. I think we're just going to go with that, go with a 5 iron. I'm not going to play too loose with this here, so I'm going to aim it way over to the left-hand side here. Shit. I didn't want to hit it slow. <laughs> I panicked a bit there and swung a little bit fast. I just definitely didn't want it to hit it slow there. Oh, that's that should have been up closer. I'm not going to go with a chip. I think we'll go with a pitch shot. Back down to the lob wedge. Right, a little bit of a slope there. Ooh, that fell a bit. Again, very fast. I need to sort that out. That's two short pitches that I've tried and I've... Oh, that's... Look at behind there. I can't go too far here. Oh, that's, that's okay. That's nice. That'll do. Come on, ball, stop. So looks like we're going to pick up a par here. Oh, I hate picking up pars on par fives. Should at least be getting birdies. Okay, 16th hole, par four, 342. He's done it again. He's really giving us risk reward shots here, isn't he? Because <laughs> that, that's definitely going to make it, the driver. I'm going to pull it back just a touch. We're going to be down there somewhere anyway. As long as I don't hit a massive slow, we should be good. Yeah, it's going to be down there. Probably left of the... Oh, no. Come on. Up, 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 up. Oh, a little bit of a bounce to the left there. Is it going to hold? Oh, that's not, not too bad, actually. That'll do.
Okay, we should pick up the birdie from here. Nice. Minus four. On the 17th. Another nice little par three here. Okay, 141, 36 down. So that is playing around about 129. I make that. 128. Ooh. Let's put a little bit of loft on it, not a lot. One oh one, but a little tiny, tiny touch of slow, so it should sort of even itself out. Oh, ho, ho, look at that! Look at that! <laughs> what a shot! And a little tappy tap. Okay, eighteenth. Oh, oh, that's a beautiful looking. Finishing hole. I love all that plant down the left hand side. Got a little water feature there as well. Three wood driver. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at that. We could probably make that over there as well. It just leaves a little pitch up. Oh, we come down here. I think we'll just go down here with the, the three wood. That to hell with it. Let's go for it. Let's just smash one down here. <laughs> come on. Goodness sake. Oh, oh, come on. Where's it going to bounce? <gasps> oh. Splish splash. Damn it. Damn it. <laughs> You've got to go for these things. I don't know. It was silly. Oh, a little bit of a slow. Get up on the green. Come on. That's all right. Nice. Oh, there's a little slope there. It's going to catch it right about now. Is it? Nope. Oh, that's not too bad. Can we pick the par up, though? Go on. Go on. Oh, it's turning too much. Damn you. Again, nice little bit, nice bits of colour there around there. Look, the, the reds, I can't remember seeing them. To be honest, I'm going to finish with a... I hope this is just a bogey. Get in. Yes. Oh, so look at that. Bit of a mixed bag. One, two, three. And a double. Three bogeys and a double. But, I mean, we came off all right there, I must admit. Master settings. Three bogeys and a double bogey. And we finished, what, minus four? Minus five, I think? Minus four. So that's not too bad. What do we get for it? Oh, got another red. Nice one. So there you go, guys. That is... Carver Bay Gold, if I can remember. La Cava Bay Gold, and that is by Robert Thoroughgood. Give it a play, guys. Really, really nice course. So again, guys, thanks for watching. I will catch you again next time, and don't forget, stay safe.